Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a Husqvarna chainsaw in the shop. It's a Husqvarna 450 Rancher. Customer brought it in. The cord just stays out when you go to start it. So what I will do in today's video is show you how to fix this and the parts required to do that. And here's a close-up view. Cord stays out. It's really hard to pull it over. And by the way, this saw is not that old. It has not been used that much. It's just a homeowner that has the saw. He doesn't even cut firewood with it. It's just to trim trees around the house. But the good part about this is it's not an expensive repair. So what you need to do here is remove the four screws. They're Allen screws. They are a number four, four millimeters. So obviously there's something going on with these parts here and let's loosen this screw here again it's a number four allen screw now things are starting to get looser but if you take a close look here you can see a large crack here that's not even all the way around so this part here is not sitting well this is an issue that I kind of often see on these saws but again the good part about it is it's not that expensive to repair so what I'll do here is just basically get this screw all the way out. And I think I see the problem here, guys. It's this part here. This looks egg-shaped. It's oval. It should be nice and round. So this is what's happening. It's getting jammed up because of that. And this saw here has the easy to start feature. And that's why there's an extra spring here. And this spring doesn't look too bad. It's kind of shaped like this. So now what I'll do is carefully pop out the rope rotor here. Because you can see that it's kind of loose on the shaft here as well. And when you do this, you have to be careful because of the spring in there. So what I usually do is undo the rope at the top here to release the pressure. So what I'll do is I'll just undo the knot here. I don't like snipping the rope because sometimes it ends up being too short after. Now I'm just going to let this go back in. Now it's easier to pull the rotor out once you have no pressure on the spring. I just want to examine the spring here to make sure it's still good. And all looks good. The end here looks good as well to grab inside the rope rotor. All right, guys, I've got the parts to repair the recoil. I thought I could buy just the individual parts, but it comes in an actual kit. Now here's the repair kit. There's the part number 58665950503. I'm going to put the link to this little kit here in the video description. And here's what you get with it. You get the spring, you get the rotor for the rope, and you get that small top piece that goes on the top here. So I'll get my new parts out of the bag. Now this rope here is like new, so I'm just going to keep that. Now what I'm going to do before I put the rope rotor back in here is spray some chain lube in there. This will keep the parts from wearing out too fast. Now when you put this part back in, you want to take notice of the groove in here. It's going to go in the spring right here. It's going to connect to the end of the spring there, I mean. And I'm only going to rewind the spring once it's bolted on. Now the next thing you want to put in is the spring. Now when you look at the spring up close and you look at both ends, they look different. The spring is bent differently. The part that's bent like this goes down in here. 
Now put this piece back on and you're going to notice there's a small hole here that's for the spring to go through. And just like that. Next put that screw in. And again you're going to need a four millimeter Allen screwdriver for that screw. Now run the rope right through the recoil hole. Now I don't think I can make a knot as good as what was on there before because it seemed almost like a specialty knot. Next, what you want to do is pull the rotor until the small groove here lines up with the rope. And now to get the slack out of the rope, I'm going to turn it clockwise a few turns here. And we'll see where we're at. It's still loose, so I'm going to repeat that process again. I'm going to try one more turn. it's still a bit loose. So basically guys, you're going to need four turns clockwise on that spring. And now it retracts just the way it should. And now I'm just going to reinstall the recoil. And that's it. Okay, let's see if this recoil will work. Oh, almost went. So it wasn't that hard to do, guys. If you're watching and you're not very mechanically inclined, I think you'll be able to do it by watching my video here. Just make sure you get this kit here. And again, the part number is in the video description. And I will also encourage you to buy the actual genuine Husqvarna kit for this. If you buy the no-name ones on eBay or Amazon, they may not last. So I hope this helps. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and share it. And make sure you're subscribed. Have a great day.